Epic fight I've ever seen. Wow. He came up out of the water. I saw, it was crazy because he was all the way out there and then he got stuck under there. Yeah. That was the most epic fight I think I've ever seen. You guys can barely hear me, but that was so sick. Yeah. Beautiful fish, dude. Yeah. Gorgeous. Nothing wrong with that fish. What I just witnessed was probably one of the coolest fish catches as far as bass go that I've ever seen. We're here fishing a pretty interesting body of water today. There's this fishing the San Martin River, which apparently isn't San Marcus. That's what I meant to say. Fishing the San Marcus River right now. There's a bunch of current right below us. You can probably hear it in the background. We're here with Grant's friend Ace. He's invited us down here to catch some of these fish. But instead of like throwing what I personally would normally throw in currents so like jerk baits and soft plastics. We're throwing big glide baits. Here, give me that. <laughs> big glide baits. So this is a really interesting and different experience for me. Ace just caught about like a six and a half pound plus bass in the most unreal manner ever. He's still, I don't know, that was nuts. I hope I got all that on film. That was enough for me to switch over to this little 185. We're gonna throw this for a bit. Regardless of the current, these fish are still super aggressive and feeding on big bait. The other cool thing about where we're fishing right now is there's smallmouth and Guadalupe bass. This is so much fun. I, I love this kind of fishing. Oh my god, that was quick. <laughs> what is that, Guad? Oh wow, I never caught one before. Sick. That was pretty, oh they're warm. That water's warm. It's a spring-fed uh, spring river, so it stays about the same temperature year round. First ever Guadalupe bass. First cast here at this spot, and I caught a new species. It's not very big though, eh? They'll get bigger. Yeah, they'll get bigger. Oh my god, dude! Holy sh! Oh my god, dude! Oh, I need to take a breather. Bro, it was huge. 
Really? It was massive. Do you think you got it on video? I don't know, dude. You can see the whole thing. I can see the whole thing. Oh my god, dude. Hey. He, he swallowed it. The bait was gone. That's all I know is the bait was just gone. I don't know if it was a smallmouth, but it was super dark like a smallmouth. I don't know, man. It was huge. Right there. It came out and went boom and we're right back under. Wow, I just missed a giant. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like a 10, but still it's a nice fish. That was crazy. Like, I've been throwing the jerk bait all freaking morning. And as soon as I switch to like a big live bait, I get a bite. It's pretty insane. This is some crazy stuff, guys. To think I wasn't even really gonna take this trip too, it's just kind of on a whim deal. It's unreal. I'm literally throwing swim baits in the jungle right now. I'm like waiting in what honest to God looks like a jungle. This looks juicy. Oh, there's a little guy. I just had a little guy follow it all the way up. That was so sick. He couldn't commit. That was like a pounder. Every single cast, you feel like you're about to catch a freaking eight pounder. It's kind of a good and scary feeling at the same time. Like at any point in time, you could hook into the biggest fish of your life. And it's in a freaking small river system. Like look where I'm fishing. There could be an eight pounder just chilling, like right there. And I have no clue. Oh boy, this looks dangerous. Is that a fish? What the hell, that was weird. Oh my God, it's a gar. It's a giant gar. There's this gar chasing my swim bait. I thought it was like a freaking 30 inch largemouth. He can't get it. He, he just can't get it. It's a little spotted gar. He's confused. Poor little guy. He just wants to eat the swim bait, but he's got a needle nose. Didn't expect that. Just my luck. I switch over to swim bait and I get gar to chase it. <laughs> Classic. There's another gar. There's two gar. Look at that. What the? Can we get three gar? Can we do it? Let's see if we can do it, folks. Three gar. Oh my god, another gar. You've got to be kidding me, dude. That's three gar in a row that have followed up my swim bait. You've got to just be joking. Well, okay then. So the bite slowed down like just a bit. Haven't really had much action since, uh, since Ace's fish. So we're gonna try something a little bit different now. We're gonna use giant alien bugs to maybe possibly catch a smallmouth. Ace is getting them right now. I'm gonna show you guys how he's doing it. It's pretty cool. You gotta cross this dam just to get. Wow, there's. Oh, wow, hold on. So in case you're wondering, those are Helgramites. They're basically like an aquatic macroinvertebrate form of the Dobson fly. And if you don't know what a Dobson fly is, it's this giant bug that flies around. And it's just, it's a, it's a creepy looking bug. We just kind of wanted to do this because it's, it's not only tough right now, but it's also gonna be kind of interesting to use like these giant bugs to get smallmouth. Helgramites are like a super good sign of like a healthy creek or river. They generally need running water. And if you see right there, Ace is catching all of those Helgramites right at the top level of the dam, right where that current is at its like peak, just before it's about to go back down into the uh, the lower end of the dam. So that's kind of cool. We're gonna use those to potentially catch a smallmouth. Smallmouth cannot stand Helgramites. They love Helgramites. We're, we're not gonna stop throwing the swim baits and worms, but we wanna try this out. I'm excited. All right, let's try it out. <laughs> oh, it's a long ear. We don't have these back home. Well, of hot. We've tried big swim baits, we've tried big glide baits, we've tried drop shot, net rig, 10 inch worm and even 
live Helgramites. It's still slow. We did okay, but it like wasn't like the kind of bang up day we were hoping for, but you know, it happens. I did get one really, really, really solid opportunity to catch a fish. I'm not sure if I got it on video, but I saw the whole thing on Ravel. It was crazy. Wasn't able to even set the hook on it. I just saw it. Happens though, man. You lose big fish. You move on, you keep fishing. I'm taking a bunch of casts today with the glide bait. More casts than I think I have in my entire life. Definitely built some confidence in the bait, but like, definitely not like a pro. Like, it's not like one of those baits I'm gonna be able to use as a crutch from now on. Day's kind of, oh, thank you. Day's kind of winding down here at the falls. We might fish for like maybe two more minutes, and then we're heading out of here. Gonna get ready for tomorrow's excursion, which is on another river. Just a little bit different, maybe a little bit bigger. on him. Oh. <laughs> Fat. Little mouth. <laughs>